Okay, so this is just a quick introduction to some of the basics of finishing your styrofoam form, which you created and shaped earlier with, with files and surforms, things like that. Um, and say you've covered it with polyfiller or spackle, then uh, you obviously have a quite a coarse finish, which you'll need to sand down. So the first thing to say is if you can, try and get hold of a, uh, a, a sufficient grade of uh, face mask. And the, the sort of code for them, at least in the UK, is FFP3. And that means it just stops even the smallest of, of sort of particles for when you're doing sanding work. So there's no need to go for a full vapor mask on this particular occasion. Um, so you can obviously begin by using uh, a, a finer grade of file and even the small ones for picking out certain details like in here. Um, although a nice trick is also to use the um, sanding paper and, and cut it into small pieces. Quite often if you're just using a big piece and tearing little bits off it's rather insubstantial. So having them pre-cut just means you can work very quickly and effectively. The other thing is given that you'll probably have some styrofoam offcuts uh, it saves you buying one of those fancy sort of sanding uh, foam blocks. You can just make your own and just tape it on the back. And again, I'm a bit of a fan of homemade things, so homemade tools such as essentially a lollipop stick or tongue depressor with, this has just got two different grades. And as you can see, this is like a 120 grit, which is really coarse, and we can use that just for taking down the rough edge. Um, but really, you want to work it down to something like, you know, preferably 800 or, or, or even 1,000 if you're going to sand this and then spray paint it. However, one thing uh, to note is that even when you wipe this, say with a damp cloth, once you finish sanding it, um, there's still going to be some sort of dust in there, which is why if you are going to spray paint it, I'd highly recommend putting uh, just brushing on a quick layer of PVA glue and then sanding that back down with whatever 1000 grit or something of that, of that kind. And that not only um, removes the sort of surface dust, but it also binds the surface and makes it quite a lot shinier and a much better surface to paint on. So I hope that's useful and uh, again always try and wear the right masks because uh, if you're doing this for a career it will catch up on you. So thanks, hope that's helpful.